Today, I will talk about the Arc Browser, which is coming quite popular among the creators. It's called Arc Browser. Um, you may have heard of it recently in the tech community. I've heard about this. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's called Arc Browser. Um, it is a browser that basically is made for people who are really bad at tab management, like me. Mm -hmm. um, so without <laughs> any further ado, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. First, how do you get the Arc Browser? So to install the Arc Browser, you will need to join the waitlist on their website. Go to their website, arc.net, and click on Try It For Yourself. On the next page, enter your email, and then select the platform on which you are planning to use Arc. Unfortunately, Arc Browser is currently only available on macOS and iOS, however, they are actively developing the Windows version as well. Now, if you are a student, you can get the Arc Browser way quicker. After you selected your operating system and then clicking Submit button, you should see thanks for joining the waitlist message. And down below should be written, students get early access with a current academic email on students .arc.net. So if you follow that link, you can click on get my invite today and then enter your academic email. After that, you should get the Arc Browser access within 10 minutes. However, if you do not have academic email, you can still get the Arc Browser quite immediately and for free. You will just need to click on the link in the pinned comment down below this video. Because existing ARC users can give the ARC access to 5 new people each week. So if there is a great demand for this browser, please let me know in the comment section down below the like button and then I will try to update the link each week. After you enter your email, you should get the download link in an email from the browser company, which is the company that created the ARC browser. However, if you have problems downloading arc.dmg file from an email, you can easily use the sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. Imagine the internet is like a city and your browser is a car. Without a VPN, you are exposed in a convertible. A VPN is like a tinted car, shielding your digital journey and hiding your IP. It keeps your information safe, allowing confident browsing and bypassing geographical restrictions. However, having only basic computer Computer knowledge, a hacker could potentially gain access to my sensitive information. By using a VPN, I would protect myself from these threats by encrypting my data and keeping it secure from prying eyes. This way, I could confidently browse the internet knowing that my personal information remains safe and private. With that said, unlock a secure and private online experience with ExpressVPN. Click the link below for an exclusive bonus your first three months free. Don't wait, upgrade your digital life with just one click. And now let's talk about features and what is it that makes the Arc Browser so unique. So in my opinion, the Arc Browser is so unique because of this sidebar on the left. And here you will find your URL, pinned tabs, your folder, and also the tabs which you are currently on. Now, if you find this sidebar too disturbing or if you are of opinion that it takes too much space, you can just press Command and S on your keyboard and this will hide this sidebar. I usually do this when I'm using only one website for example or if I need to move between the websites I usually command S and have this option enabled. Now you can also see this border at the full screen right now around this window. It's basically the same if I go here for example at the top left and exit the full screen and right now if I press command and S once again you will also see this border around this current website. And now if I hover over this left border you will also see that this sidebar pops up. Now if you click this option is the same if you press command S and this will pin this sidebar once again to the left and uh, yeah this is how the Arc browser actually actually looks like. And as of version 98 of the Arc Browser, the Arc Browser actually got an amazing feature. And what you can actually do is go here to the new tab and then you can search for example YouTube and then you can press tab and now we are actually searching inside the YouTube platform. Now we can search for example MKBHD, press enter and now this will search inside the YouTube itself. Really nice feature which I couldn't find inside the any other browser. Now what you can do is display view mode inside the browser. So what you can do is to right click and you can here select open in split view. Now we will have the YouTube on the left and now let's for example select here Google on 
the right. Now you can also resize these windows, for example, like so. Or if you do want to have the vertical mode, you can also do this by right clicking here and selecting convert to vertical split view. And now you will have one tab at the top and the other one at the bottom. And you can also resize like so. If you want to quit split screen mode, you can just right click and select here separate all tabs and both of the tabs should go back to normal. Inside the arc, you can also create folders. For example, here at the top left, I have this social media folder and inside I have three tabs like you see here. So if you want you can also group tabs by folders. So to create a folder you can just right click here at the blank space and select here new folder. And now if I call it for example Twitch and then drag this tab inside this folder. Now if you want to delete it you can just press these three dots and select here delete. And I think this is a pretty cool feature. And what you can also do with the Arc browser is to have peep on your screen. So for example, if you go here to the YouTube and for example, I will select this lo-fi mix. If I go here to the Google, you will see that we have the peep mode actually here up and running. Now you can also place it right here, close it, minimize it, or even pause it. Now, if you press this uh, diagonal arrow, you will go back to the tab. Now the Arc browser also has built-in screenshots tool. So if I hover over this URL at the top, you will see this camera icon. And if you press on it, you will enter the screenshots tool. Here we can capture the portion of this page. For example, you can only take the screenshot of the chat or this image. Or if we drag the square from left to the bottom diagonal, we can also take the screenshot of the full page. Now, then you can also save this image to library, copy it, save it, and you rename it. Now let's talk about the notes option inside the Arc browser. If you want to create a note inside the Arc, you can just right click on this blank space and select here new note. And then you title it and just write your ideas here. And now you can also create an easel. So the easel is like a whiteboard inside the Arc browser. Here you can drag the letters and type in something here. You can then draw, you can create arrows like you see here create the squares and basically this is your whiteboard inside the Arc browser. So if you want to find all this, the easel and also the nodes inside the Arc browser, you can go here at the bottom left like this and then you can go here to the easels and nodes. Inside here you will find for example this node and also this easel. So this is pretty much it. If you want to delete them, you can just right click and delete. If you also plan to use Arc Browser with multiple people, the Arc Browser has a feature that you can create multiple profiles. So here at the top, you can go to the file and select here new profile. And now you can create a new profile for each family member who uses Arc and then you can switch between them. Now with that said, you can also create more spaces. By spaces, I mean, for example, we have here more entertaining space. If you press here plus, you can also go here to the new space. And here we can open, for example, more productivity tabs like Google Doc, Excel sheet or something like that. And here at the bottom, you can basically switch between the tabs. So we can go from entertaining to the work immediately. Inside the Arc browser, you will also find one feature which I found quite cool and it's called boosts. So if you click here at the bottom plus, you can then select new boost. And what boost feature actually does is to customize the CSS or JavaScript inside intended website to make it look better or to improve the functionality of it. You can also go to this website which is called arcboost.com and here you can find a plethora of boosts for the Arc browser. For example here at the top you can actually install the boost which will enable being AI. So make sure that you also check this website which I will also put a link in with the description down below. So if you want to personalize your Arc browser, you can go here at the top and select the view option. Here you can go to the appearance and change automatic appearance to the light mode only or to the dark mode only. What's your preference? Now, if you want to customize it even further, you can actually change this color and also the noise inside this sidebar. So to do that, you can go here at the top once again, you can go here to the spaces and select add a theme. Now here we have one mode, which is that on auto. Here we have the light mode and the dark mode. Here I will go with auto mode. And here you can also choose between a lot of already set presets. Here 
I will go with this green one, for example, and then you can select here intensity of the color. Here you can change this texture inside this sidebar, like you see here. And because the Arc browser is built on Chromium engine, you will also need a few tips to get more battery out of your Mac. Because Chromium based web browsers on Mac are usually known for their battery drying. To fix that, you can also enable a few experimental features inside the Arc browser. So to do that, you can go here to the new tab and here you will search for the Chrome alone slash slash and then flags, press enter. And here I enabled three flags. The first one is called GPU rasterization. And this one will enable the GPU to rasterize the web content. Then I also enabled the battery saver mode and also enabled the high efficiency mode. After you selected here enabled, you will then need to restart your Arc browser. So make sure that you quit it from your dock and then open the Arc browser once again. And after you did that, you can go to a new tab and search here for for arc cologne slash slash settings press enter and inside here you will find another tab which just appeared and it's called performance so here make sure that you enable the memory saver and also the energy saver and i also set my energy saver to turn on when battery is at 20 percent or lower so these are my tips how you can actually get more juice out of your mac when using the Arc browser itself. And with that said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it also quite helpful. And if you did, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and like this video. And also, don't forget to check the pinned comment down below in the video description if you want to download the Arc browser right now. Have an amazing rest of your day, guys, and I see you all in the next one. Peace.